Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. The other day we made those little ham and cheese sandwiches on Hawaiian rolls for the second time. And the second time we got it right. The first time we had made it with really sharp cheddar cheese and it was like a little too much. But with provolone it was great. Um, we didn't teach you how to make it though, so today we're going to be making them again because they're so good. And uh, Mal is going to show you how to do them. So, how, how we do. Preheat the oven to 350. 350! And I'm lining a pan with foil. Expected procedure. I'm gonna spray down my pan. Also expected. So I have a package of Hawaiian rolls. Hawaiian rolls available at your grocery store or Mega Mart. Normally they're in the deli. Yeah. And um, we've gotten them in wheat, and the wheat ones are also good. Yeah. They didn't have wheat at food line today. This feeds about four people if you make like a side with it. Stephen and I normally eat three. All right, so you have to separate them. I'm trying not to squish them. And then you're gonna need a knife. You can cut them in half. And then you leave the top and put the bottom over here. Now we have ham and cheese. Mm -hmm. And this is honey ham and then provolone cheese. We may not have enough, but... Yeah, it will those. be fine. Um, you can use whatever you want, but uh, provolone and, and ham work really well together, as I just said. So, not to compare the ham, because those are so small, mm -hmm. and this is such a big piece of ham, I, like, cut a piece in half, and then I put it on the sandwich. Our next step after putting ham on is to take our cheese. This is provolone, like we said. I cut it in half, and then I fold it in half. And then that's how much cheese I put on. After you put all the cheese on, we're going to make the topping. We're going to start by melting a stick of butter. Alrighty. We're going to add the following ingredients. Dijon mustard, garlic powder, Brown poppy sugar. seeds, brown sugar, and Worcestershire. Mm -hmm. One tablespoon of brown sugar. If you've never used brown sugar, you gotta pack it like you would sand. And you wanna close it up tight because you want it to stay soft. We have garlic powder, fourth of a teaspoon. And we got three tablespoons of brown sugar, or not brown sugar, Dijon. That's a wonderful sound. Uh -huh. Worcestershire. And it's one, no, two tablespoons of this. You know, come to think of it, uh, my family's always pronounced this Worcestershire, but it's literally pronounced Worcestershire. And I don't know if it's actually Worcestershire, and my family has been saying it wrong forever, or if it's actually just pronounced Worcestershire. I have no idea. Right. Our last thing is a teaspoon of poppy seeds. Mm -hmm. Mix it all together nice, like so. And then we're gonna put the lids back on our sandwiches. So these ingredients never go actually on the sandwiches. They go on top of them. They go on top of them. And then we just pour this on top. And then with any of the extra, you can just sort of go back over them. And now they go in our oven for 12 to 15 minutes. And that's how it's done. And here's the final result. This one's kind of fallen over, but they are absolutely delicious. And now you guys know how to make them. So go forth prosper. Have some ham and cheese sliders. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. I know it's a short day, but I'm still working, and uh, we wanted to share this recipe with you because we've been really enjoying it. Thanks for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? We can sort out the details of our little arrangement later, but for now, I'll manage the dig if you can manage the coin.